Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I will be explaining arc of circle method for ellipse. Basically these are the different methods of the ellipse. In the previous video we have discussed about concentric circle method, rectangle method, parallelogram method. Now it's turn for the arc of circle method. So let's start with the arc of circle method. This is the output that we are going to draw in this video. Let's see first of all the description. Draw an engineering curve by arc of circle method for major axis and minor axis are 100 mm and 70 mm respectively. Also draw normal and tangent at any point on the curve. Here you can see the name of the curve is not mentioned but you know that if the major axis and minor axis are given to you then definitely you will get the ellipse. So here this is the ellipse that is your first answer that we are going to draw and at last normal and tangent here you can see normal and tangent at any point on the ellipse. Now let's solve the problem step by step with the drawing instrument. Do you know any other method for the ellipse? Write your answer in the comment box. So this is the given description. First of all, draw the horizontal line that is exactly equal to the 100 mm. So here you can see 100 mm that is actually your major axis. Now mark the midpoint of this major axis. So here you can see 50 mm. So mark it. So here you can see this is the midpoint. Now give the name as AB that is the major axis and midpoint of this AB that is O. Now draw minor axis that is actually perpendicular to this major axis and that is given to you as 70 mm. So here keep in mind that AB must be the bisector of this vertical line. That means 35 mm above of this AB line and 35 mm below this AB line. So here you can see 35 mm and here it is 35 mm. So here you can see 70 mm is the total length. Mark it as CD. So here this is major axis and this one is the minor axis. Now take the compass, set the radius that is exactly equal to OA. Here you can see. And next draw the arc with C as the center on AB line on both side here you can see so that you will get f1 and f2 here you can see f1 and f2 so give the name as f1 and f2 now you have to divide this f1 o into three or four parts it should not be exactly equal division so you can take randomly three or four points now take compass, set the radius that is exactly equal to A1. Here you can see A1 is the radius. F1 center, draw the circle. So it is very simple. F1 center, A1 is the radius, draw the circle. Now with the same radius A1. Now F2 as the center, draw the circle. So it is very simple step. Now next, set the radius that is exactly equal to B1. So once again, B1 is the radius. Next, F1 as the center. Draw the arc. So keep in mind that always when you are going to draw the circle, your center must be F1 or F2. Next with the same radius, now F2 as the center, draw the arc. So here you can see. So you will get the intersection point. Mark it as P1, P1, P1 and P1. So this is your first round. Now second. Now set the radius that is exactly equal to A2. Previously we have set the radius as A1. Now it's A2. 
draw the circle with F1 as the center. Similarly, with the same radius F2 as the center, draw the circle. Now, set the radius from B to 2. Previously, it was B1. Now, it's B2. Now, take F1 as the center, draw the arc. Now, with the same radius, F2 as the center, draw the arc. So, here you can see. So, that you will get the intersection point. Give the name as P2. Similarly, here it is P2. P2. And here it is. And here it is P2. Now, you can imagine. What should be the next step, my dear friend? Yes, absolutely right. It will be now A3. Now, set the radius that is exactly equal to A3. Here you can see. Take M1 as the center. Draw the circle. Similarly, with the same radius, 2 as the center. Draw the circle. Now, set the radius B23. F1 as the center. Draw the arc. Next, with the same radius, F2 as the center. Draw the arc. So that you will get the intersection point. Give the name as P3. 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 And here it is P3. Now join all the points by the smooth curve. Take care. It must be passed from the C, A, D and B. So this is actually the, your output. So give the name as ellipse. So we have completed first task through an engineering curve. Now second one, normal and tangent. So first of all, take any random point on the ellipse where we want to draw the normal and tangent. Give the name as S. Join SF1. Then join SF2. Now draw the bisector of this angle F1 as F2 with the help of the protector or you can do with the help of the compass also. So take randomly any length, draw the arc with S as the center. So this is your two center. Now with the same radius, draw the arc with this as a center. Same radius, now this is your center. So that you will get the intersection point of these two R. Mark this point. Now join this S with this point. So that you will get the normal. So here this should be dark because of this is your output. Now perpendicular to this. So match this long line with this line. So automatically it will give you the perpendicular line. So you will get the tangent. So write down here. This is the tangent. I am going to correct over here. Because of this is outside of this video. Write down here. This is the normal. So this is your second answer, normal and tangent to the ellipse at any point. Once again, keep in mind that this ellipse normal and tangent should be dark and the remaining work should be as light as possible. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate.